two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge, break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misadventure piteous overthrows, doth with their death Bury their parents' strife. A dog of the house of Montague moves me. The quarrels between our masters and us, their men. Tis all one. Here come two of the house of Montague. I will bite my thumb at them, which will be disgrace to them if they bear it. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? I do bite my thumb, sir. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? Is the law on our side if I say I? No. No, sir. I do not bite my thumb at you, sir. But I do indeed bite my thumb, sir. Do you quarrel, sir? Quarrel, sir? No, sir. Well, if you do, sir, I am for you. I serve as good a man as you. <laughs> no better? Well, yes. Better, sir. You lie! Draw you be men. Hot fools, put up thy sword. You know not what you do. What? Art thou drawn amongst these heartless hinds? Turn me, Benvolio. Look upon thy death. I do, but keep the peace. What? Drawn and talk of peace. I hate the word, as I hate hell. All Montagues and thee. What noise is this? Give me my longsword. Hell! A crutch? Why call you for a sword? My sword, I say! Old Montague has come. Thou villain Capulet! Hold me not, let me go! Thou shalt not stir a foot to seek a foe! What ho, you men! You beasts! Throw your misheaven weapons to the ground! Three civil brawls, bred of any word. May the old Capulet and Montague have thrice disturbed the quiet of our streets. If you are to disturb our streets again, your lives shall pay the forfeit of the peace. On pain of death, all men depart. Oh, where's Romeo? Saw you him today? Right glad I am. He was not at this fray. Madam! Underneath the grove of sycamore, so early walking, did I see your son. Many morning hath he there been seen, in private in his chamber, pens himself, shuts of his windows, locks fair daylight out, and makes himself an artificial knight. My noble uncle, do you know the cause? I neither know of it, nor can learn of him. See where he comes. I'll know his grievance, he'll be much denied. Come, madam, let's away. Good morrow, cousin. Is the day so young? I mean, sad hours seem long. What sadness late is Romeo's hours? Not having that which having makes them short. In love? Out. Of love? Out of her favor where I am in love. Alas! What fray was here? Yet tell me not, for I have heard it all. It is much to do with hate, but more with love. Why then, O oh brawling love, O oh, loving hate, O oh, anything of nothing first create. Love is fire, made from the fumes of sighs, being purged, a fire sparkling in lover's eyes. Tell me in sadness, who is that you love? In sadness, cousin, I do love a woman. I aim so near when I suppose you love. A right good's mark, and she's fair, I love. A right fair mark, fair cause, as soon as hit. Well, in that hit you miss. She'll not be hit by Cupid's arrow. Then be ruled by me. 
Forget to think of her. Oh, teach me how I should forget to think. By giving liberty unto thine eyes, examine other beauties. Farewell. Thou canst not teach me to forget. But Montague is bound as well as I, in bounty alike, and tis not so hard, I think, for men as old as we to keep the peace. For all rule reckoning are you both, and pity tis you lived at odds end so long. But now, my lord, what say you to my suit? My child is yet a stranger to the world. She hath not seen the change of fourteen years. Younger than she, her happy mother's maid. And soon too marred are those so early made. Tonight at my house I hold an old accustomed feast, where I have invited many a guest. Such a delight among fresh female buds shall you this night inherit at my house. Here all, all see, and like the most whose merit most shall be. Come, go with me. Oh. Samson, trudge about through fair Verona. Find those names that are written down here, and to them say, my house, and welcome them on their pleasant stay. Not mad, but bound, more than a madman is. Shut up in prison, kept without my food, whipped and tormented and... Good evening, good fellow. Good evening. My master be the great and rich captain. If you be not of the house of Montague, I wish that you come and crush a cup of wine. Rescue Mary. At the same ancient feast of captain, Sups the fair Rosaline, whom thou so lovest, with all the admired beauties of Verona. Go thither, and with unattainted eye, compare her face to some I shall show, and I will make thee think thy sworn a crow. I'll go along. What is your will? This is the matter. Nurse, give me the leave while. We must talk in secret. Uh, nurse! Come back again. I have remembered me, and thou hear our counsel. Thou knowest my daughter's of a pretty age. Tell me, daughter Juliet, how stands your dispositions to be married? It is an honor that I dream not of. Well, think of marriage now. The valley of Paris seeks you for his love. This night you shall behold him at our feast. Speak briefly, can you like of Paris's love? I'll look to like if looking liking move, but no more deep will I dart in mine eye than your consent gives it strength to make it fly. Madam, the guests are come. We follow thee. Go, girls, seek happy nights to happy days. Nay, gentle Romeo, we must have you dance. Not I. Believe me, you have dancing shoes with nimble soles. I have a soul of lead. You are a lover. Borrow keep its wings. Love is too rough, too rude, too boisterous, and it pricks like a thorn. If love be rough with you, be rough with love. Prick love for pricking, and you be love down. Come, not be answer. But is no way to go. Why, may one ask? I dreamt a dream tonight, and so did I. And what was yours? That dream was often lie. In better sleep, while they do dream things true. Oh, then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's wit midwife, and comes in a size no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn together by little atomies athwart men's noses as they lie asleep. Peace, Mercutio. Peace, peace. Thou talks of nothing. I talk of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain. Come, supper is done, or we should come too late. I fear too early, for my mind misgives. Some consequences, yet hanging in the stars, shall so barely begin his fearful date, with this night's revels, and expire the term of a despised life, close in my breast, 
by some vile forfeit of untimely death. But he that hath the steerage of my course, direct my sail. my heart love till now, for swear it's sight, for I never saw true beauty till this night. This by his voice should be a Montague, that with the stock and honor of my kin, to strike him dead, I hold it not a sin. <clears throat> Why how now, kinsman? Wherefore storm you so? Uncle, this a Montague, our foe, a villain who has hither come in spite, to scorn at our solemnity this night. Young Romeo, is it? Content thee, gentle cause. Leave these frowns alone. An ill seeming the semblance for a feast. I'll not endure him. He shall be endured, I say. Go to. Am I the master here, or you? Go to. Uncle, tis a shame. If I profane with mine unworthiest hand, the gentle sin is this, to smooth rough touch with a tender kiss. Good pilgrim, you do wrong your hand too much, which mannerly devotion shows in this. For saints of hands and pilgrims' hands do touch, and palm to palm is holy palmers' kiss. Have not saints lips, and holy palmers too? Aye, lips that they must use in prayer. Well then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do. They pray. You kiss by the book. Madam, your mother craves a word with you. What is her mother? Her mother is the lady of the house. Is she a Capulet? Oh, dear account, my life is my foe's debt. Away, be gone, the sport is at his best. I, so I fear, the more is mine unrest. <clears throat> Thank you all. Thank you, honest gentlemen. By my faith, it waxes late. Come hither, nurse. What is yon gentleman? His name is Romeo, and a Montague, the only son of your great enemy. My only love sprung from my only hate? Too early seen unknown and known too late. Just as scars that never felt a wound. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks is the east. Juliet is the sun. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. I me. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. 
Shall I hear more? Or speak at this? Tis but thy name that is thy enemy. Thou art thyself the not a Montague? Oh, be some other name. What's in a name, that which we call a rose? By any other word would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called. Romeo, doff thy name, and for that name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and henceforth I never will be Romeo. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither fair maid, if either thee dislike. How camest thou hither, and tell me, wherefore? With love's light wings did I overpurge these walls. If any of my king's men find thee here, they will murder thee. I have knights cloak to hide me from their eyes. And but thou love me, let them find me here. My death were better ended by their hate than death prorogued, wanting of thy love. Dost thou love me? O oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Lady, by yonder blessed moon, I vow. Do not swear by the moon, that monthly changes in her circled orb. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all, or if thou wilt. Juliet! Anon, good nurse. Three words, good Romeo, and good night indeed. If that thy bends of love be honorable, thy purpose marriage, send me word tomorrow, and all my fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and I'll follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Madam! By and by I come. Tomorrow will I send. So thrive my soul. A thousand times, good night. Love goes toward love, as schoolboys from their books, but love from love, toward school with heavy looks. Good morrow, mother. Benedicte, what early tongue so sweet salute me? Thou art aroused with some distemperature? Or if not so, then here I hit it right. Our Romeo hath not been in bed tonight? The last is true, the sweeter rest was mine. God pardon sin, was thou with Rosaline? With Rosaline, my ghostly mother? No, I have forgotten that name, and that name's woe. That's my good son, but be plain. Where hast thou been then? Then plainly no. My heart's dear love is set. On the fair daughter of rich Capulet. We met. We wooed. We may exchange a vow. I'll tell thee as we pass. But this I pray, that thou consent to marry us today. Holy Saint Francis, what a change is here? Is Rosaline, whom thou didst love so dear, so sin forsaken? Young men's love then lies, not truly in their hearts, but in their eyes. I pray thee, chide me not. Her I love now, doth grace for grace, and love for love allow. The other did not so. Oh, she knew well. Thy love did read by rote, and could not spell. But come, in one respect, all thy assistant be. For this alliance may so happy prove, to turn your household's rancor to pure love. Oh. Let us hence. I stand on such. 